Alright, hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another instant noodle recipe time. And this is going to be a weird one. I show you what to do with your instant noodles. It's my 3000... Actually, this is a re-review, technically. Because we're going to use this. Maggie Me From India. Spicy Masala. The pie, and if you can hear that water is screaming over there, so. So this is one of these long experiment videos that you've heard of. That all your friends are talking about. Better be. Maggie two minute noodles so I set the timer for two minutes and this this is called the taste maker and make it taste good this stuff is hard to make wrong but I'm sure somebody could Mm, that smells good. Somebody could wing it. <laughs> I'm trying not to. All right. Ow. Hot. Hot. Oh, you want to want? Okay, dude, who has to see noodles cooking in a pot? There you go. It's okay. So, this is Maggie Masala, which is like the absolutely most popular instant noodle in India, bar none. Then you might be thinking, oh, well, so what? That's India. It's like, uh, India is a really big country. You might hear things referred to as South Asian on here a lot, or uh, Southeast Asian, rather. That's, you're looking more... Um, Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia. India is South Asian. And you go way south in India and you end up with uh, down in Sri Lanka. And the north. Beep. In the northeast, you have uh, northeast. You've got Bangladesh, and northwest, you have Pakistan. Basically, it used to all be India, and then these guys in World War II had this great idea. Basically, a guy just sitting in a little drawing room decided, "Hey, let's partition it this way." Um, yeah. Didn't work out so well. If you can find it, there's a movie called... Is it called Earth? I want to say it's called Earth, but it could be wrong. Uh, it's a filmmaker from India. Did a lot of stories about Indian history. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty gruesome tale. I'll say that much. Sad. Very sad. But you're probably wondering... What I'm doing with these. I have a new kitchen gadget. You can call me the Gadgeteer. If you want, you don't have to. Oh, and by the way, we might be interrupted by a package. I have an enormous package on its way from Malaysia, actually. It's huge, it's like insane. And I'm very curious how much it's going to weigh because it seems like it'll be like absolute ridiculousness. Yeah, you're like, whoa, are those jumbo eggs, dude? Yes, they are. Yep. I went to the uh, doctor yesterday. They said I need to watch out for my cholesterol. So I'm not going to, I don't know. I don't, I don't think... I don't think it's the eggs as much, because honestly, I don't eat a lot of egg. 
but I think maybe uh, maybe it's coming from eating sausages. <laughs> Gilbasa sausage, Polish sausage. Yeah, it's all good. I can I can handle chilling on the sausage. You're probably like, what? Why are you? Why are you doing this? What is this that you're doing, and why for? Why are you using that horrible bowl that has like a textured edge? That's what I'm. That's my main question. I'll tell you why. I got a new kitchen gadget. The omelet maker. Omelet maker. And here it is. It's this thing. I don't really, I think this is the right way. This may totally go absolutely horrible. Which, honestly, I have a feeling that's the route it's going to take. I'm hoping not, but... Here's the uh, instructions. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what do we got? B... Uh, oh, make a mixture. No, no, no. Wait. Pour half of the beaten eggs into each side of the omelet maker. And leave open. Microwave on the highest setting. And then, thank God for my wife, because I would have been like, for how long? I would have been like, been sitting there going... But for how long? For like the next two weeks. But then like way in the corner right here. She's like, oh, it says it right in the corner. Thank you. Um, three eggs. A minute 15. I think that's what it says. Or is it one and a half? That's one and a half. Oh, that's so silly. It says three eggs, one and a half minutes, two eggs, one minute, and one egg, 30 seconds. Now, wait a second. Why wouldn't it be... They're using 30 seconds on the first one, which is a half minute, and the third one, they're calling it one and a half minutes? Am I totally reading that right? That's just like... Yeah, that's poor form, folks. I don't, I don't care for that. So, I have to take this scrambled egg and pour half of the beaten eggs into each side Two, take out of the microwave and let omelet set aside while set aside while still moist add fillings to one side of the omelet close cooker an omelet together. Three. Oh, close cooker to hold omelet together. Three. Microwave for one minute. If making a three egg omelet, reduce. Microwave for one minute. If making an, a three egg omelet, reduce the time for a one to two egg omelet. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm... I think this is just going to prove to be a huge mess. But the first thing I'm thinking... I don't think it'll stick. It's plastic. It shouldn't stick. But everything's telling me spray it. So that's what I'm going to do. My first attempt with this thing... There. Safety first, folks. Safety first. So I guess what you're supposed to do is you put
put the stuff in here. Oh, and that's cool. It doesn't flop around or nothing. However, I do need a paper plate because I am not letting this thing blow up all over the microwave, which I think it'll probably really want to do. Okay, let's see here. Cool, that fits perfectly. Like it's made for the, the omelet thing. And I think I've heard of a romlet before. Have you heard of a romlet? A ramen omelet? This is gonna be my first attempt at anything like this. I mean, I've played with eggs before, but. <laughs> Wait, but that's like almost all the egg. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have woken up this morning. Okay, so let's look at this again. Also, it doesn't say what size of eggs to use. But here's what we got. Okay. So one and a half minutes on the highest heat. Wow. I am afraid. Whoa. Whoa, omelet maker. Okay. Good luck, eggs. Oh, sorry. That's probably pretty dull looking at the the floor and listening to me to listening to me wish eggs luck. Um, yeah. So now the noodles have pretty much sucked up almost all the liquid. And I'm going to take a bite of this stuff because, honestly, this is some of the cheapest stuff around, but boy, is it good. It's, it's, masala is kind of a tough one to say what the flavor is. It's very... Mm, lots of spices in there, like a whole lot. Lots of flavor, a little bit of spiciness, but just like very earth. Like tons of ground up things going on in that. I like it. Some people I'm sure don't, but I don't hear any banging or popping coming from the microwave, so I'm pretty happy about that. But it mentions using a mixture of your fillings and stuff. Oh, there was a pop bigger than yeah okay so now that's done phase two take it out let it set okay I think will vary based on microwave wattage and power level. Wet omelet set. While still moist, add fillings to one side. Close cooker. Okay. So, here's my bowl that has some eggishness left in it. And I'm guessing that's going to work like glue. That's just the way I've the vibe I'm getting off of this whole process. So I'm taking all these noodles and slapping them in here and stirring it all up. How's that sound? That sound like fun? A fun fun. Let's have a fun fun. Yeah. Got my flu shot yesterday. Oh man, I'm stoked. I feel so powerful now. I could lick surfaces that the flu has touched and it can't touch me. Nope. Because I've had my flu shot. Okay, so it has to set. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. That is our, our omelet. Whoa. 
not very moist yet. This side is, and actually this is the side I would choose to add my stuff to. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. So I guess you just have to flip it over really quick. And this, the way this thing seals isn't too much fun. But I'll leave it for a second. Maybe the... Uh, all right. I'm all in on this. I'm so curious if this is even going to think about working. I don't think it will. I think that's way too much stuff in there. Okay, now. One, two, three, flip. And seal. All right. This is actually... I feel like I know what I'm doing. Um, I can wait for one minute of making a three egg, and that's what we got here, folks. So let's put this in for another minute. I think. Yeah, I, I, I think we might be okay. Are you excited as I am? Wow. Maybe next time, I, 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 what I really wanted to do was one with, like, something curry, you know, obviously. But I have no idea what this is going to look or taste like, if the noodles are going to be burnt, if the eggs are going to be made of just, like, pure rubber. Which is very, very likely. Did you see how the edges were curling up? I hope you were able to see that. It looked, looked like something dead. Which really isn't what I was shooting for, but, you know, yeah. But yeah, kind of weird, you know. Doctor's like, hey, you know, you need to, like, eat less and exercise more. Like, yeah, you're right, I do. So I'm gonna. Oh my god, it's done. Let's see what happened. Now, the question is, is there any more step? Is it like open up, flip it out, and enjoy? Or is there some kind of... Number three... It doesn't tell you that you can open it again <laughs> and it doesn't tell you it doesn't tell you that you should enjoy it it's like that's it it's it gives you to that point and you're kind of like there um yeah i don't know i i don't know am i allowed to open this i think maybe i should just take the initiative and go for it i think that's what i'm gonna do and you're gonna join me so let's let's get everything all set up here Put this sucker out of the way. All right. Are you sitting comfortably? Can you see? Oh, yeah. You can see it. Okay. We're going to be okay. Um, there. No. There. 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 If you please direct your attention to the half moon shaped thing here. Oh, that totally didn't work. I mean, it's done, but it's sticking out the butt of the thing. All right, we're gonna see how this goes on a plate. I mean, it's not that it went horribly, but it's just, I was thinking more the omelet, you know, the omelet is closed. So, I think I got a vibe on how to do it next time. 
But for now, oh, this is going to be hard to plate. Okay, I'm not going to get it all over myself. Oh, yay. One, two, three. Come on, Slither. Slither, come on. Oh, that looks like absolutely odd. Yeah. All right, can you see that? Almost looks like a burger on the side in a way. This is really strange. This doesn't look normal. <laughs> oh, that side's right there. That's just weird. Okay. I guess we got to do a reveal, right? We got to like slice it open and see what it looks like on the inside. Although I think we all know what it's going to look like on the inside. It's going to look just like there's eggs and there's some noodle going on. So let's take the blade of truth, hope, and fury. Go like this. Using the weight of the blade to do the cutting. Actually using no pressure. The only pressure used is to guide the blade, turn it in the direction we want to go. Therefore not crushing the soft innards of the I'm calling it a romlet, but I want to say somebody's already coined that term. But this is a. Uh, oh, what do they got? You go to the you go to the breakfast restaurant and you can get the uh, the western omelet, um, the eastern omelet. I remember I got one. It wasn't a Denver omelet. I think it was an eastern omelet, and it had like the best. Melty cheese and mushrooms and sausage in it. Oh, that was so good. Oh, if you're in Washington State, oh, man. There's a, <laughs> a place full of cholesterol. A um, place called the Issaquah Cafe. And if you go there, go get a Monte Cristo sandwich because it'll freaking blow your mind. And they've got these things called Sidewinder fries. Get those. I mean... My wife got like a, tur or a club sandwich and it was just amazing looking. And I'm guessing everything that comes out of that kitchen is damn good. So anyways, let me open this to face the world. Oh, whoa, that does not look like what I expected it to look like. It looks like egg cordon blue. Check that out. That looks very, very like otherworldly. Not not the way I expected at all. And it's kind of honestly on the presentation side looking pretty bland, so we gotta do something about this. Um Mmm, it's from India. Coriander! That'll work. Where's my coriander? There it is. Coriander is what we call uh, cilantro over in Southeast and South Asia, so. Oh, come on. Although, granted, I'm not there, but I like to say the royal we, this, I don't know, I wish I would. Um, I would say mayo, but that just seems sacrilegious. Um, um, I don't know. 
I would say it would probably go good with Nestle Milo. I'm looking at a bottle of uh, Dunkin' Donuts iced nitro-powered caffeinated coffee that makes me want to gag. Um, I'm not putting tartar sauce on it. No ketchup. Ketchup actually probably wouldn't be too bad, but I think I'm going to keep it dry. I think it's going to be moist enough. Um, how about some of this? This came in a new my crate. This is a Togarashi. Let's see what we end up with here. I'm just gonna do it like that. <laughs> and welcome to where the flavor is. This is your fancy fine dining. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I gotta take a couple pictures of it, but I will have a couple bites for it. Just, just, uh, I'll be right back, alright? Cool. Alright, so the picture has been taken, and honestly, it looks really gourmet. Wow, um, yeah, I'm really curious what people are gonna have to say about this one. It's like, you roped me in with this picture, and it looked really good, and oh my god, really? Is that all it is? You suck, Ramen Raider. Like, no, 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 no. Really. This is Fine Dining 101. Welcome. So, I am going to cut a small piece of this fine meal. Literally, it is just eggs and uh, Maggie. I'm curious if it's all going to just be almost like a a solid, almost like, what do you call it? Oh, wow. That's just fascinating looking. <laughs> just like a solid gelatinous thing. Well, I guess that's kind of like what an omelet is after all. Look at you. All right. Oh, I'll put a little bit of the, the fine sprank on it. I will say one thing, the egg is definitely firmly secured to it. Let's try just do this side of the fork. Yeah, it it's it works just like using the side of the fork to cut it. Hmm. Honestly, it's not bad. I mean, what is it? It's egg and Maggie masala. But there's definitely, definitely some uh, possibilities here. I think they will be explored. Alas, that's all I'm going to eat. I know my wife won't touch this. Neither would my kids. I would totally finish this. But, as I said, alas. And here's what happens in my place often.
Well, that's about all I got to do with that. It's gone. All there is now is the cleanup and the uh, the video. Oh, by the way, uh, you probably noticed at the beginning of this. This is the uh, the whole new. Um, I did intro graphics just to start. These are like the first ones. And you'll also notice on the side, it says, Instant Noodle Recipe Time. That's to help identify it for people who hate Instant Noodle Recipe Time so they don't have to go, oh, it's that again. But then for people who are like, hmm, Instant Noodle Recipe Time, and don't read the text and just look at the pictures because there's lots of people like that, there's that too. They'll have to read the picture. So, Cheers. Yeah, I bet you guys saw the Taiwan number one shirt and you're thinking like, oh, he's doing something from Taiwan. No, <laughs> not today. All right, well, it's my Friday, babies. Have a good one. And if you enjoyed this video, check out some of these over here. It's really good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can dig it. All right, this has been Hans the Robin Raider. Wishing you enjoyment of your noodles every day. Have a good one and bye. Oh, yeah.